Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. The Everton Shareholders Association has called on Everton Football Club to reinstate a general meeting and to have one before the end of the financial year. Uh, the general meetings are being stopped by Everton. Um, the Everton Shareholders Association have put out a open letter to the chairman and to Farhad Mashiri, uh, stating that they had had a discussion with both of them in which they both admitted they had no problem with general meetings. And therefore, if that is the case and still the case, then why have the general meetings stopped? Uh, that has been put out everywhere today. It's been released as a press release to show the um, the messaging that has gone to Bill Kenwright and to Farad Mashiri. And the Everton Shareholders Association wants to know that if the majority shareholder and the chairman of the football club don't have a problem with it, then who exactly made the decision to stop it? And therefore as uh, the majority shareholder could reinstate it and have one immediately. And I think that's what the Shareholders Association are hoping for. There's still no sign of Everton's accounts being put out there for the year. That has got to be um, made public by March the 31st, I think, or certainly if, if not then the first couple of days in April. We'll know what the books look like for that financial year then. Uh, and the Shareholders Association calling on more engagement from the football club. So we'll see whether anything comes of that. Uh, former Everton defender Alan Stubbs has recommended, uh, sorry, has revealed that while he was manager of Hibs, he recommended Everton sign John McGinn. Uh, he said that when Hibs were looking to move McGinn on, he was highly rated uh, and he contacted Everton with a view to them coming and buying McGinn. It would have been for around £3 million. He said McGinn would have been a good player for Everton and is now in today's market worth around £40 million. Aston Villa, of course, did take McGinn and he has done very, very well for them. And uh, he won the penalty, in fact, when the two teams met earlier this month at Goodison, uh, which Ollie Watkins, well, sorry, it was the end of February, wasn't it? He won the penalty for Aston Villa, which Ollie Watkins converted. He is a good player, John McGinn, and he has done well for Villa. And this is further evidence that Everton are uh, still missing out on some players who they could get for low fees and turn them into uh, assets that they could sell. But uh, let's hope that changes, because um, it has to. We, we simply don't have the money, and profit and sustainability doesn't allow us to buy high-profile players all the time. So we need to start making these investments while these players are, of course, uh, emerging talents. And we saw Bushina going right back. We can, you know... Virgil van Dijk and we missed out on him and well didn't miss out on him we chose not to sign him and, and went with Funas Mori and there's been lots of those stories over the last few years uh, Delhi has been told that he is free to leave Besiktas now by the head coach Senol Gunas uh, there was a story yesterday that he'd gone AWOL Besiktas and particularly Gunas saying we don't know where he is uh, he did say that it was it was raining so he's probably not turned up for training um, Delhi has come out and said that he had a pre-arranged agreement with Besiktas due to a doctor's appointment that he wouldn't be there. Uh, clearly, that hadn't been relayed to Gunas when he made the comments. Their relationship quite clearly has broken down. Um, the report goes on to say Delhi is hoping to come back to Everton and fight for a place. That seems unlikely. You never know. Obviously, it's a new manager. Sean Dyche is there. Um, so we'll have to see what happens with that. But the report also says that MLS clubs are interested in taking Delhi over there as well. So see what happens in that saga, if it is a saga. It's not really, is it? Let's be honest. Uh, and Everton of today, in a mad story, being linked with a move for former Everton striker Romelu Lukaku. Uh, Inter Milan chair, uh, have come out and said that they will not be keeping Lukaku at the end of the season. It's not financially viable for them and that he will return to Stamford Bridge. Chelsea don't want him by all accounts, and are looking to offload them. And the report says that he will be available for around £25 million this summer. He's obviously played, uh, you know, done some of his best football at Everton. So with 87 goals for Everton while he was here. Um, whether he'd come back, I don't know. Whether Everton would have an interest in going and buying him and whether he could afford him is all unlikely, but it's, it's an interesting story and it was one I felt needing discussing, given he's a striker and uh, he would, I still feel like he would score goals for Everton. Of course he would. Lukaku, he loved, he loved it at Everton, honest. 
there you go. That's it for the news. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to become a Toffee TV Premier member, where you get daily live videos, uh, then click the link in the description or the QR code. That'll be on the screen in two seconds. See you later.